The gun violence capital. This is Chicago. Till I die, I ain't never leaving the game. Tyler went to old block. Pull out to parties. Hoes be pregnant when we leave. Let me put it to you this way. When the lights go off, you know something is up. We got a large crowd. Got 362 in the back of Parkway. I need you to now. We got one more shot. Got another one inside. We got one more piece. Chicago faces an epidemic of gun violence. While Chicago homicide rates overall have dropped 13% from 2022 to 2023, certain neighborhoods I'll be going to are active war zones for rival gangs with higher murder. I wonder, I wonder if it was worse in 2012 than it was now. Back then, whenever like Chief Keith was them, Chief Keith and them that was out there. <laughs> It was getting wicked. Than the most I, don't know, I don't know if it's worse Earth now or if it was worse then. But why is everyone shooting each other? Is it really as bad as the media makes it out to be? And is there any hope to stop this multi-generational gang war? So I met up with members of multiple gangs in Chicago to try and understand. On oh, everything. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, we're alive? This can't be smart. Oh, hell no. We don't play. But before we go into the trenches, <laughs> does the average person in Chicago feel safe? No, not at all. It has been very unsafe. We need to support public safety. It really is unsafe here. Is the police doing a good job at enforcing the law here? I don't think so. They're very hands off. Are the gangs running amok out here with guns or what? I think so, yeah. Do you feel safe out here in Chicago? I love Chicago. Pretty safe out here? It's pretty safe. Okay, cheers. It became clear people were split on this. What have you seen change out here in Chicago? I imagine the 80s and 90s is pretty intense as well. No. No? Much better so it's much worse right now in the 90s much worse even worse than the crack era i think there's more sporadic mm. acts of violence now and it's happening more so <laughs> bro stole the car while she was pumping gas so i think there's uh, she's literally standing but she's standing there right next to her car <laughs> Standing right next to it, nigga came and stole it. Now, and it's happening That's more nuts. so in all the different neighborhoods due to the economic issues, you know, that the city's facing. I think uh, the violence in Chicago part is overrated. Okay, good to know. How many years you been out here? I've been in Chicago for 40 years. Has it changed over that 40 years? Uh, tremendously, for the worse. People just don't care about people anymore. The way we are, we're Jehovah's Witnesses. And we teach people to love each other. And love has gone. People have no respect for the Bible. It's very different the last few years. Years. What has changed? The uh, level of violence. There was a shooting not too far from here a couple weeks ago. Some kids were coming out of a charter school and they got shot. Depends mm -hmm. on what time of the day. What time does it not get safe? Five and beyond. I'm, I'm safe, I think. What's his dark outside? You better go inside. <laughs> well, what was that sun go down? It's time for you to lay your head down and go to bed, nigga. Don't be <laughs> outside. <laughs> Bien? Yay! Well, I'm a nanny. I gotta be careful where I take him. There's a lot of crime around this neighborhood. Downtown? Yeah, downtown. Robbery. I got my phone stolen at the bus stop. Do you feel safe out here in Chicago? Yeah. 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 Is the north side known for being a little bit safer? I think so, yeah. Okay. Do you feel as if there's danger in the air in any way? No. There you have it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> He's munching. Do you feel safe out here in Chicago? Yep. Not really. No? Not during the night. I was walking in Evanston where I went to school at Northwestern and some crazy man came up to me and groped me and slapped me on the street. You got assault. He said he slapped you? <laughs> Imagine you walk in the middle of the night and some homeless man come up and just slap you. <laughs> oh man, that's, that's I got assaulted and he's in jail. So oh, yeah, I out. did testify. Good for you. Hi. Yeah, there you go. Put him in jail. Put him in the slammer. Would you go on a run at night? <laughs> I have. I would recommend it. Okay. Just depends on what neighborhood you're in. Uh, what parts are dangerous from your perspective? West, south. I've heard like west, south side. I think south side won't be. The south side for sure. Are we in north side? Uh, no, I want to say that. Sure, you're on a leash. Oh! I'm saying like, damn. She ain't gonna let, she ain't gonna let bro speak. <laughs> like, come here. Come here, Gunther. God, I don't like deliver something that I'm comfortable with, like, pretty much the south side. Do you deliver to O-Block? No, I don't. It's, it's, it's all neighborhood based and most of it's like gang related. You'll hear like there's crime down here, but all the crime down here is just uh, like petty theft, breaking into cars. Go to certain neighborhoods, there's a lot more violence there. It's unfortunate. Uh, those are generally like lower socioeconomic areas. So why are you so curious about gun violence in Chicago? We're trying to understand the root cause. Hey, he look, he got dripped though for an old dude. 
He's like, he drippy, he ain't gonna lie. Because of that, there's a solution in how it got to that point. So, you guys are in the wrong neighborhood for gun violence. Where's the gun violence? West, south. So, we headed to Inglewood, the fourth most dangerous neighborhood in Chicago, where violent crime is 792% higher than the national average. 792%? percent of being murdered, raped, robbed, or assaulted to meet up with a member of the gang, the Black Disciples. Bali just whipped out a massive gun out of... Is he gonna be with GDs and BDs? Oh, man. I think got a safety off. I don't, I don't think you really. I got the safety off. We ride through the ops right now, really. For this real. is ops territory? This is the ops. I'm black disciple. I'm BD. But everybody from my hood ain't BD, folks. We got everything. It's lords, stupid bitch, moles, niggas GD around me, all type of shit. You're telling me out here in Chicago and Inglewood, you can get away with murder practically? You gotta do it right. You just real GTA. I know a couple serial killers on phone. Allegedly. Allegedly. So we're in ops territory right now. Uh, <laughs> is, is there any risk we should be aware of? Bro, what you mean is there any risk? This. <laughs> what do you mean is there any risk, bro? What? If they, if they, if they, if they look in that car and they peep that's him, that car might get shot at, bro. <laughs> like, Hell yeah, y'all see a group of niggas, let me know. Actually? Is our life you got an AK-74, right for you don't know for a reason, bro. Huh? Now keep in mind, at this point I'm thinking Bali is playing it up for the camera and this is all nonsense. Dude, you make a left right here. Make a left down 73rd. We hit real ops. You feel me? This is this we playing through the shit like this. Folks driving like this, we ain't playing. Right, this is where they be at. This is where they be hiding at in the summertime. Okay, this is this where they be hiding. Or <laughs> today, right? Man, hey, you with me. You in the car with me. This here right here, it's his birthday today. Oh, it's his no. birthday. Yeah, he died in 2012. It's his birthday today. How did he die? Uh, he got shot. He got killed. The ops killed. So it was a dangerous growing up out here? Uh, not really till I started getting involved. You were great getting involved or what? I didn't want to get involved, but my brother was already involved. Are there any benefits of being involved? Shit. Ain't no love in the streets, for real. They told, they told me that when I was a child, ain't no love in the streets. And I was looking for love. I was gang banging. I, I hanging with the thugs and shit. And shit, I, I see now. I'm older. Ain't no love in this shit. And against my better judgment, yeah, they got this nigga eyes as wide as hell. <laughs> his head on a swivel, boy. Ollie let me hold his <laughs> prop, and I got my prints all over it. Man, you holding it wrong. <laughs> so you're gonna wipe my prints off this, yeah, right? I'm gonna wipe your prints off. You holding it wrong. You uh, know how to. You know how to. Hold. He ain't gonna wipe. He ain't gonna wipe your prints off, bro. Can you show me the technique for print wiping? He got a salt. I thought he put a salt off shotgun in his pocket. Is that simple? That's simple. I think your your prints not even in the database. What you? What you? You never went to jail. Look, y'all got gloves. I'm gonna take out on the man. I'm gonna take out on the man. <laughs> Turn the camera off. No, 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 no. People go kill 10 people. Whoa! We've been quit a block up. This was for fictional and entertainment purposes only. This is pure <laughs> fiction and entertainment. And as we waited in the neighborhood for Bali's business partner, Drizzy Draco, two of Bali's other friends saw us and hopped in our rental. Spin Reaper, man. Just a week, man. The Spin Reaper. What are you up to today? And I'm chilling in the neighborhood, man. You got lots of uh, ladies out here or what? Yeah, it's a lot of ladies out here. Folks be pimping too. You be pimping? Yeah, I be pimping, man. How many ladies you got under management? Like two bitches right now. But oh, they right. good selling bitches. They're really? beautiful? Yeah. Where, where do you source your ladies? Uh, they come to you. Yeah, they come to you. Okay, so the, the natural riz brings them in? Hell yeah. How, what's <laughs> natural the riz. What's the cut looking like? Everything. Everything? Everything. What does she get? Take she get whatever. Up. Yeah, there you go. Hey, my dog. <laughs> my dog. Man. How you doing, bro? The whip's a little tight. Sorry, my yeah. name's Tyler. What are you up to today, bro? What's your name? Josie. Juicy. What are you doing today, Juicy? We on the block with it. Hard? What does it mean to be a Reaper? Man, you gotta catch that cow. I told you, you I told you. Cow, man, I ain't gonna let you. I know a couple serious. This, thing, this ain't no joke. What do you mean? Yeah, this is self explanatory, bro. I can't tell you no more. People are, people are disappearing out here. Like, this is a good Tyler saying, what do you mean, bro? They kill people, bro. He didn't told you like five times. They kill people. He has an AK-74 U with a laser and an extended mag on it. You know what he doing, bro. You don't add attachments if you're just shooting for fun, bro. Like, come on, bro. Occasion. There you go. After discussing their current employment, Drizzy Draco had finally arrived. You want to introduce yourself? Drizzy Draco. Drizzy Draco, man. Welcome to the trenches. I just brought my Damn, boy. Damn, pull your pants up. Booty cheeks out. What do we got here? What do we got here? You know, something, something for protection, you know? Heard. Nice little prop, a well-made prop by a great prop designer. Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, you know how we, yo. We 
Them niggas in trouble with ball. Yeah, trigger safety, don't worry, guys. Niggas got ducked. All the ops, all the haters. You feel me? We, we fucking niggas, bitches. When we pull out to parties, niggas hoes, we leave. Niggas hoes be pregnant when we leave. <laughs> on everything, dog. What's going on? What's going on? Ah, uh, yeah, it's over with. You playing games on me? We don't play. <laughs> At this moment, I'm under the impression that these guys were trolling me and cosplaying as gangsters. <laughs> Dude, you know, don't I, you know, I do live, bro. Instagram live, waving his Draco, flashing $2,000 in cash, and telling his ops to come rob and kill us. Don't pull up on us. I'm not affiliated, but I'm with the boys. I thought he was. He said, "Don't Instagram pull up story, on us." But in reality, I just introduced myself to the ops on the block on Instagram Live. Y'all check out Drizzy Draco and Baldy Fat Spin. That's right. Out now on YouTube and all oh, rap. Yeah. We got an op Be when you outside in Chicago. We need to get back. We just going down. Just trying to make me poop my pants. Going down. What's your favorite book. My favorite book. Hold on, hold on. Let me, oh. let me get on ass. Let me get on. Hold on. Ass. We got an op. Niggas be doing this shit on purpose, bro. <laughs> they go on live so the ops can find them, and then every, whenever every car passes by, they're like, oh shit, what's, what's that? Oh shit. <laughs> they do this shit on purpose, bro. Like, fun, fun to them. Fun to them is having a ops pull up and seeing, like, having, having, having a ops. Fun to them is get on live and then having your op. Potentially pull up so you can look at every car and we're like, whoa, what's he? you feel me? I explained that terrible. I'm sorry, man. I know. Let me stop talking. A year ago, Bali and Drizzy Draco were interviewed by this guy, which basically the exact setup of my interview, but at night, and it ended with a drive by shooting from the ops. Oh. You had a drive by on video? Oh, shit. Hey, We're in war position. What did you think you saw? Oh, play with shit. We gon' we gonna blow something down through this. What would you see? I'm just on every car. You think we're gonna get shot? That's what I was saying. Like, they, they went on live just so they can look at every car. They went on live just so they can look at every car with suspicion. Bro, why am I talking so bad, bro? Like, you can get just click off, bro. Just click off the video, bro. At this point, click off. There, what? I can't even speak. Oh, we're alive. We're alive. You gotta show the life. We're gonna get biffed. Aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> that not be a lot. <laughs> this can't be smart. <laughs> we're live. That can't be smart, right? That's not be real though. What? Walk around with Do two what? cuts on me, nigga. Come pull up, rob me, nigga. Come pull up and rob me, nigga. I'm not gonna be out here with that shit, fellas. Pull up and rob me, nigga. She come back. Man, so the plan right now is every so car. Who, who, who that? Oh, hell no. Who that? We're so calm. I didn't realize the gravity of how stupid this all was until this car pulled up and I thought we were going to get shot. She called it that? <laughs> day. Yeah, man. I don't want to die. It. That's it, boy. That's it. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Realizing our exact location was doxxed to the ops, I called off the interview for everyone's safety, including my own. The we ops just came on the line. No, 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 no. Thank you. You gotta send, send me my cash before you get out my present. <laughs> all right, all right. No, okay. tower is boot. Wow. We definitely just witnessed uh, almost a shootout. Oh, wow. Irresponsible. This is a spoot. <laughs> ah, he spoot. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll probably be spoot too. Finest, I ain't gonna lie. But, um, nice guys to us. Not to the ops, though. They were on the, They were en route. They were on their way over when we left. The ops were on route? The ops were in route to kill us. 100%. The ops joined the live. Bali said, you can get away with murder out here. It's like GTA. And I believe him. After almost ending up a gun crime statistic myself, I headed over to Little Village to meet members of the 2-6 gang to understand why people join and stay in these gangs despite them being so dangerous. All right, I'm here with... Risky. Escobar. It's, it's, yeah, it's dangerous everywhere, but we're here, it's just like, it's, it's just too much violence. Sometimes a little too much, you know? A lot of innocent people die. And that, so a lot of innocents getting caught in the crossfire? A man, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, more innocent people has died than their own guys sometimes, you know? And that's sad because... Talking like women and children or what? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Well, nah, you don't have, you so don't, It's like you know, constant warfare. It's, not, look. it's been like this for years since we were born, you know? We were, like what you said, we were born into this, you know? We were born into this neighborhood. You trying to lock the hood? Oh, uh, sure. Are we gonna walk through the hood? Yeah, man. Uh, all right, so. Or is it dangerous? Are we gonna get killed? We're gonna be good. All right, let's go. Yeah. Now, Are you we'll, scared? Now we'll be good. Unless, I mean, you think we're gonna get bipped or what? Nah, I got you. 
Thank you, brother. So we headed into the neighborhood where most of these guys grew up in. Look at hardworking people. Yeah. Always, they're always out here when it's cold. We're when entrepreneurs. It's hot. They're just hardworking Mexicans. Uh, Peligrosa? No. No. Bien? Never bien. These guys are chilling. They're making money. They're grinding. Hell yeah. yeah. To, to no one messes with these guys, right? Yeah. They're trying to rob them, though. Really? So they be trying to rob them? Damn. I mean, I bet. He said the black people be, be robbing him. Damn. The blacks be trying to rob them. They be robbing them, but like we don't, we we not racist. But damn, you finna rob the vendors? They're making a living. Go work, motherfuckers. Would any of you guys stay here your whole life, even if you got the bag? Man, it's yeah, it's hell it's yeah. hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I see, man, that that be their problem, bro. Some some nigga. Yeah, yeah, y'all heard what what, what Boosie said, right? And once you get your money, get out the hood, bro. You are not supposed to stay in the hood once you're rich, bro. That's that's when everybody gonna start looking at you crazy. You feel me? And it's already, you know, what I'm saying you you got too much to lose at that point. So you guys want to buy the block and make it better rather than leave? If it's possible, I would love to buy a complex and help those people. Though I do want to move. Like, I'm, I'm not tired of it. It's just like you ready to move on? Like I, it, this is not a place to raise your kid for real, for real. Would you guys die for each other? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This neighborhood right here. Right here. This is where all you guys grew up. Yeah, I grew up right here, man. You can record that motherfucker. Stay right there on top. Oh wow. The keys came. I was in the window. They shot my brother to the corner. Damn. It was like three months popped out. That's why we grew up. Any of you guys ever been shot before? Hell yeah. Yeah. I got shot with a whole fucking switch. Just a little. Yeah. Would you guys ever wear a bulletproof vest? Hell no. I don't got shot like thirty times. Thirty times. Thirty times. Damn. Nah. I think I had to switch it just holding that bitch. <laughs> bro. Switches are getting being this like easy access, bro. It's just like that's really what messed everything up though. Cause at least back then you had to have a trigger finger or at least like you, <laughs> you at least had to have a trigger finger. But now, bro, you can just hold that shit down. I didn't get hit. How many times did you get hit? I got hit when, that day it happened, I got hit with a switch. I ain't gonna lie. But they snap. I'm gonna give them props. What'd you do to piss them off? I probably f they bitch. I see them. You think you'll die out here? Maybe I can't. Yeah, Nigga, we, 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 we live for this. Shit. You know? what, if, what if you do die out here? Would you have regretted being involved or no? no? Of course not. Look at the people I've met. Look at the relationships I've I built. See. This is family. This is brotherhood. You know, this is brotherhood. Would you take? Could you keep the family and take out the risk? Of course. Kill it out here, man. Of course. It's kill to be killed. Kill be killed. Kill it be killed, man. You better keep your gun with you. You, you, you out here in the hood, posted up. Doing, doing whatever, speaking hypothetically, you killing, you you doing what you're not supposed to do, you're sinning. What the fuck's gonna happen to you? You know, you might get hit back with it. Exactly. So you know that, but you're still here. Right. Because I love these niggas. Yeah, I love them. It's hard sometimes, because you grow up with them. You know, you I can I can move to Texas if I wanted to next week, but what about my brothers? You know. What if you guys all dip together? It's it's LB Raw, but. You got on Sick, right? Everybody got families too. Oh, I see. Everyone got mother. Yeah. It seemed like the adrenaline of the conflict and the constant state of war, combined with the sense of brotherhood and family, keeps these guys in the gangs, even if they know it might someday cost them their lives. Yourself, There's man. a lot of love out here, a lot of respect from the community, it seems. Yup, that's what it's about. Some occasional spats. Here and there, you know, you got your goofballs, you know, trying to fuck shit up, but they can handle, you know? So, do you think it's more about community than it is violence and terror? Man, it's about sticking together, man. It's yeah. about sticking Brotherhood. together, man, and just thriving, man, thriving together. But why are there so many gangs in Chicago? And how did these conflicts even begin? I met up with Chucky of the Gangster Disciples to understand their long-standing beef with the Latin Kings. That's in the bottle real quick, you know what I'm saying? You gonna take a shot with us, right? Uh, man, you, you can think I'll be able to? You can tap it. All right. You gotta tap it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody bless, everybody is this uh, sick? Uh, what is this? So this is tradition right here. Before we open the bottle, we got everybody got a blessing. This is religious almost. Bless. All right, cool. Hey, bless. Niggas all put the put put GD on. GD on the bottle cap. It's a gang tradition or what? Taking this out? Yeah. You know how that shit go, man. Yeah. Everybody taking a shot. Gang shot. Ain't no cups around here. We just. All right, all right. I'm not about that lip to lip action though, I'll be real. Man, we ain't got no herpes, please. <laughs> we ain't got no herpes. <laughs> Thanks for blessing me. Alright, so what gang are you guys a part of? Uh, GD, Gangsta Disciple, you know what I'm saying? And you guys are all Mexicans or what? Mexicans, we got Puerto Ricans, we got all types of shit, motherfucking black and white over there. How long you guys all known each other? We grew up together, gang. Oh, yeah, oh, you got out the whoa. You brought oh, these yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> he double, he double ankle monitor. <laughs> I've never seen this. I got a Kimbo ankle monitors, bro. What? <laughs> he must be real demon. I've never seen this. Whoa! 
Like Kimbo ankle monitors. What's your biggest case? Man, for we ain't gonna tell. Be honest with me. So I see this shirt right here. Is this one of your brothers that passed away? What happened? Yeah, we could go down the street right now if y'all like. He, okay. he passed away. You know what I'm saying? Hennessy in hand, Chucky walked me down the block to show me where he lost one of his friends to the ops. This this Max right here. This is your boy? Yeah. So if you see the dates. It was seven years ago already. And he got shot by a rival gang. Yeah. I pull up, I see the guys. I'm like, what's up for? What's going on? They're like, man, Max just got shot. Like, what you mean? I'm thinking he's good. Like, we're going to go see him at the hospital. They're like, nah, like, he's gone. I just see his blood right where you stepping, matter of fact. Right here. Oh, his blood right here. And then the people from inside, they had to come with a bucket just like this. And I, I just see my homie's blood, like, shh. You know what I'm so do you ever think about that and say this has got to end at some point? We got to get out of here, get get out of the trenches. I mean, we definitely got to get out of here, but it's like, how 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 could I leave this neighborhood when when he died for this neighborhood? You know what I'm saying? My get a f up. It's more than just. We gotta keep moving. Now we good. You guys think you saw someone or what? Now we good. So you're, you're rapping <laughs> about war here. I see Bro. your homie right here. There's another t-shirt. What's his this name? Boy, this is one of my homies that passed away in the south side here. Got the two six. This is no joke. Man, my, fr oh, my first friend. Yeah, yeah. So what is this right here? It's all, it's the arms. One, like two, Some three. of the guys. Yeah. Ever think about leaving? See, look, my, my first best friend, my pops died first when I was nine years old. Okay. Of, of course that's going to hurt, but look, my my best friend, Richard, R.P. Rooster, his, his, his birthday uh, tomorrow, matter of fact, too. So he passed away when I was 11. Your dad died at nine. Your best friend died at 11. Yeah. It's all gang violence. Yeah. Uh, my pops passed away. It was outside a bar. He in had the trenches. Yeah, we was living in the trenches out there. He had an altercation with a dude at the bar. Are you carrying on the torch in some ways? Like, how, see, that's the thing. How did he you did, see? He, your... did, he didn't want me to. Yeah. My mama made me promise him at his casket, like, two a uh, couple promises. You ain't never gonna gang bang, and you gonna keep good grades. And I, I broke both. So she said I broke both. Hey, man. Sometimes that is how I be, bro. That's how I be, like. You just can't, you just can't help it, bro. At that point, he probably was just, he probably wanted revenge. You're a gangbanger. Yeah. Y'all see that CVS right there? CVS right there. That light, that red light, that's Milwaukee. Milwaukee, that's borderline between us and them. So just, you cross that street, it's war. Walking over there and fuck them niggas, they ain't no shit. <laughs> we can You wanna walk it over there? Y'all wanna walk that way for Are we gonna get shot if we walk through? No, we good. Apparently, the gangster disciples have a long-standing beef with the Latin kings. And in this neighborhood, one street divides their self-proclaimed turf. Chucky and his gang wanted to take me into their ops territory to show me who reigns supreme. So we are walking into enemy trench territory right now. This is dumb, bro. Why you keep walking into op territory, bro? Like, it ain't saying we good, but then, like, they showing you all the people that didn't got shot. You know, like, they tell you and show you all the people that got shot and then saying we good. Like, that's not that I wouldn't believe him, bro. Not sure how smart this one is. I hear the cops in the distance. So the Latin Kings were over there. I mean, we, we, they're there. They were there, but we ran them out. Lo siento, lo siento. Bling. Get on, man. We don't need to do this. This is definitely one of the worst ideas possible. We are crossing into enemy territory. This light right here, this borderline. So we just went from GD into LK. No, LK. Seriously, do you guys not value your lives in some ways? Be honest nah, with me. What? Do we value life, gang? What the? Fuck? I ain't scared to die, die, nigga. You're not scared to die? die bro. I'm ready to die. Actually? But this shit, nigga, I'm straight king killer, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, boy. Wow. Sad. Is this dude really a game maker, though? Like, this white dude? Has he pulled a trigger before? <laughs> the, the, dude, the, the dude wearing a Nir uh, the, um, Nirvana hoodie, bro. Someone wave the gun. As we walked into rival gang territory, Chucky had security guards watching our periphery as they pledged to keep me protected if anything went down. So do you guys have adrenaline spikes? Do you guys get like cortisol? Like, are you guys stressed right now? Nah, hell no. Nah. They stressed. As soon as you get too up, he said they stressed. You gotta be. He really gang this dude right here. Y'all done him right here. If this dude walked into the store, let me Where stop. Let me stop. So, wow, we really just walked through enemy territory unscathed. How many baby moms do you have? I got one. But you, you better not be talking about her, nigga. We're not talking about her. I, I got, got two. One. Two. One. 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 I got seven. One. I got seven. Seven. I got seven. Ain't no way you got seven. Nah, How many you got for real? Now nah, I don't got no baby mom. You feel me? I had two, but that could have baby. Damn. Nah, I got one. I got a wife. I got six kids. When your kids grow up a little bit, will you bring them into this life? Will you keep them out of it? See that? That's the that's the thing. My son coming into this life, nigga. Oh, bro. Does he have a choice? Nah, yeah, he coming life. in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
He Hall of Fame crash out. No, he Hall of Fame. So you, you already know when your son, you like, you just saying your son gonna be a game maker. I mean, like, bro, what? What if he doesn't want to come in? He's coming in. All right, tons in this. I wondered if anything could be done That's to sad, watch bro. this multi honestly sad. Beef between the Latin kings and the gangster disciples. We, can we ever mend the beef? Ah, hell. What if I brought you guys together in a debate and you guys. Passed down from generation to generation, folks, but I ain't gonna lie. I got this shit right here, folks. My nigga, they kill my nigga, folks. Fuck King. I'm not... King Killer, folks. That shit. <coughs> a lot of us don't even know how the war started. How did the war start? I can't even tell you. So why are you fighting it? Hey, hear me. Because I'm here. Until I die. I ain't never leaving the gang, nigga. This shit forever, nigga. This shit for life. Once a gangster, always a gangster, nigga. Big King Killer. It seems like these young. Man. It's honestly sad, bro. Like. I kind of feel bad for bro. <laughs> like. It's like all, all, all he knows. This, this, this is all he knows. It, 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 that little block. And, and his little group of dudes. You know, I feel like that's, that's all he knows, bro. Young guys were fighting a war that existed sad. before they were even born for reasons they may never know. Yet, every time one gang member gets killed by another, the cycle of violence and vengeance continues and is passed on to the next generation. So I met up with convicted and now reformed felon Lucky Chucky to understand how it's possible to get out of the gang life and move on. Yeah, you know, growing up on the streets involved with gangs and drugs, you know, it led me down the wrong path. So I wound up catching cases and going getting locked up at a very early age, 13, where I was exposed to this system. It led me to prison at the age of 17, being shot, stabbed, beat down, drugged to the ground, 13 years in prison. And it took me a long time to learn my lesson, but I had an epiphany, 2018, and uh, I've been on a righteous path since then. And we're gonna go check out Garfield Park, which yeah. is the most dangerous place in America, potentially. Garfield Every Park. year, East Garfield Park, West Garfield Park, they always fall within the top three worst neighborhoods in Chicago, where they have more crime, in any other neighborhood in Chicago. Let's All right, it. let's, let's go. go. This is Garfield This is Park, the west right? side. And uh, there was two cop cars parked on this next block up here. And a uh, guy was just getting the shit out of them right in front of the police. And I, I remember walking past the cop cars looking at them and they just stayed inside their car. They didn't even get out of the car. Why is that? I think these police play gang politics, excuse me, culture politics too. So if someone, for an example, someone touches a girl who's 15 years old and they're, you know, the police would say, you know what, let the hood handle that because he did it. You know what I mean? Well, the street police and the real police. That example was low key crazy. <laughs> what you mean? Let the hood handle that? So Continue. Then uh, gang violence, of course, because the park is in the middle between two separate gang factions. Uh, so I don't know if y'all remember, they, they, they uh, like maybe a year or two years ago, they were finding bodies in the water over there. So look at how dirty these fucking neighborhoods are. Look at this. You got fucking bottles and garbage fucking everywhere. Where's the older men up to clean the fucking neighborhood? What type of pride do you have in a community if you can't even keep the streets clean, right? Yeah, yep, they all, they all working. They all working. Look at them. They know what they're doing. Look at he's he's trying to wave us down. Here's what they do. People see you like that guy did. He looked at me, right? I'm a Caucasian man in a car. I'm a white guy. You know, first thing they do is, hey, that's what they'll do. They'll try to get your attention because they think you're out. They think I'm out here probably getting dope or getting, you know, weak. And this is where the majority of gun violence goes down here in Chicago. A lot of violence, not just from like here on this corner, but the whole area. You know what I mean? Technically, right now, we're, <laughs> there's been people that got shot right there, shot right there. We, anything, we, we could be sitting here right now. You'd never know. Bah, yeah. Bah. Yeah, yeah, I had a friend of mine, there's a barber shop right down the street. I had a friend of mine get killed right in that barber shop. He's getting his hair cut. They walked in Damn. and shot him right in the head. How is it out here in Garfield? You got the muff that's doing drugs and fentanyl, and then you got these migrants coming over here. They robbing and stealing. And I don't understand the reason why we got to register and they don't. The migrants, you mean? Yes. They don't have to register? No, they ain't got to register for firearm, arson, or uh, uh, sex offenders. But we have to in our country. You think the black community is being uh, swept to the side in, in yeah, favor of these yeah, people? Yeah, cause, cause, cause they, 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 they sweeping us to the side and they putting them in front of us. I'm a homeless person, bro. Okay. I might not look homeless, but I am homeless, man. And I've been trying to get me an apartment and everything. 10 South Kizzy, police stations, everything, bro. They don't give us nothing. They get it all to them, man. I'm a native of Chicago. They just hit and run my friend. And I can show you the pictures. He in the hospital right now. Oh, man. Real talk, it's critical. Okay. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm sorry to hear. You see? Damn. Him? He in the hospital what right the? now. Yeah. The fuck was, hey, look at this shit. Right up there, real quick. Hold on. Over here. Hey, 
You just missed that shit, man. Motherfucker just skidded out the whole street right there, man. Skidded out the whole street, man. I don't know what happened, man. We're about to witness some something go down, I think. Car just spun out of control. Ambulance right over there. That he's he's doing donuts all down the street, spinning. Hits this car, spins out there, bam. He was just spinning the whole way down. What do you think's going on? I don't know what there could have been an incident before that. I don't know what like went on, man. You gotta get out of here soon, man. He's motherfucking bullshit. You see old boy right there? He's coming for the sword. Let's go. He's coming for the white. He's gonna shoot. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You don't worry. Police are coming right now. Oh boy, oh boy, say, are they there? Okay. Think someone got hit? Shot? I, I didn't hear no shots. You know, like I said, I heard it coming, and all of a sudden I look and I see this motherfucking yellow uh, Camaro just spinning down the block. Ah, he lost the wheel. Damn. Look at this shit. He hit that car Sheesh. too. Look at it. Multiple cars. Yeah, they were involved in some shit down, man. Who knows, man? Ten minutes in, we'd witnessed some funny business go down already. And now it was time to go to the infamous O Block, birthplace of Michelle Obama, Little Dirk, Chief Keith, King Von, and Drill Rap. Was it as dangerous as they said? Hey. Shout out to Tyler, man. He, he... He on that real journalism stuff, man. He, he, he on O Block. We just pulled up to the O. For real. It's pretty chill. I know, but when you're in the daytime, it's cool. But if you're in the nighttime, I would not recommend. Yeah? Yes, sir, man. You work at night out here? Uh, hell no. Hell nah. no? If they put me out here, yeah, I ain't coming. You I'm quit? Gonna call off. I'm gonna call <laughs> All right, nighttime. This is I'm gonna call off. Hey, hey, real nigga. I can believe that. <laughs> We made it to Parkway Gardens. We are in the O. Double ambulance in O block. Double ambulance all the way down. How you doing, man? Good to meet you. Where are we at right now? We're in O block, man. O block, we city. city. We made it. It's all love out here, too. Oh, yo. We got the O. You want to introduce yourself to the camera? Because you're a plug out here. One, six, four, man. You know, straight from O block. You already know. Hold on, Oogie. Hold on, we'll take time. Oogie, you know me, man. Mr. Jojo K. From the road to the O, GMEV, Bravo. How is it out here? It is not what y'all portray. Is this place dangerous or is that a big misconception? That's a misconception. Misconception? Really? Misconception? Uh. All right, tell me about the O. Uh, I know who gets such a bad rap out here. What has changed? Because uh, poverty. 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 They take away all the black men. This shit been happening since the 70s when they enslaved us and started using Christianity and make us believe in a white God to enslave us, to divide and conquer us. They be like, the police be on board. You got ignorant people that's on bullshit guns. Yeah, I got shot six times over here. He got shot I saw him get shot in the face. The all these niggas got shot, but it's not dangerous. Who shot you? I don't know. I don't know. He said, I don't even know. He don't even know who did it. Through the walls of Oblox security, it sort of feels like you're trapped from the inside. Yeah, we get a bad concept about our block just because this shit I heard from 10, 15 years ago, bro. That was 14 years ago. That's 2010, 2011. I feel like we always get a bad rep. Like, we vibe and we always get down on people, but we ain't like that. We actually cool, bro. We show hospitality, bro. People think our old block, we got all rappers. We do this, we bad. We got Hoopers too. We had Hoopers. We had football yeah. plumb line. Did the reputation for Oblox being so violent come to be? 2011. Keith? Yeah. yeah. Keith came out and started rapping. Bro, when he started rapping, the drill scene blew up. This is my clothing brand, man. But this shit gonna be big. This is the Hector Chicago. How long you had this? In like November type shit. You see what I'm saying? You designed this yourself? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, you wouldn't believe me. I started this shit with a marking on a piece of paper type shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Walking in, expecting to be met with Dracos and ski masks, it was surprisingly chill once you actually got inside. People living their lives and trying to make it out of the trenches any way they could. I got that. Bro, what the? Oh. What did the little Mexican dude tell you at the store, bro? It's cool in the daytime. Wait till nighttime. You you gonna really see? Pull pull back up at nighttime. Look, look, look. Then you, then we gonna see what's gonna happen. Uh, navy blue and white mo hair sweater. Mole hair? Yeah. Whoa. See? That's bad. Ass, right? Yeah, bad. It's my fuck. I'm definitely a Muslim. I'm duty law. How long Muslim. you been a Muslim? I've been a Muslim like it's two years now. Probably. Okay. What converted you? Father, the discipline and a lot of other things. Thought process. It's everything. everything. Yeah. Uh, you know? In fact, I saw this meme on TikTok that perhaps serves to contrast the war zone guys like King Von rapped about to the seemingly peaceful-ish state the O Block looks like today. It ain't bad how people think it is. Don't let them fool y'all. They, they paint this real bad narrative. It ain't none of that. Really, if you come talk to certain few motherfuckers. 
USC that they actually probably got something going on for real. Like we got cameramen out here, videographers. Yeah, you got yeah, people everything. trying to juggle we'll everything. A lot of Everyone that I've told that I'm coming down here says I was gonna get shot, killed, mugged, robbed. Why do you think that is? They some haters, bro. They lying. We never came here before to actually get the real scoop, like how y'all just did. Right. People just put that image on. On black man, period. So you can make a song about doing drugs and never did a drug in your life. It's entertainment. Look at future. I see. We had a lot of black people that was powerful. Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama. What are your thoughts on O-Block? He said, look at future. Nah, future. I think it probably for sure be doing drugs. I don't even know, but he be doing drugs. It's beautiful. I mean, I've been here 23 years. They've been leaning to something It's very nice least. and hospitable out here. It's real nice over here. Man, it's beautiful, man. It's all love, man. I like that. We hear everyone's pushing positivity yeah, these days. Yeah, that's all we doing, man. It's all about the kids, man. That's all it's about. Happy birthday. Let me get it. Oh, happy birthday. What's right. your birthday? 25? How old are you? 13. 13? Yeah, how y'all doing? We're doing pretty good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. How is it out here? It's my birthday. It's nice. Oh, he about to take his merch. Why she's drunk? You drunk? Hennessy? You want Hennessy for your birthday? <laughs> All right, I'll buy you Hennessy. You're at a party tonight? I'm partying tonight. Don't get me wrong. Crime is definitely going down in this area. And without these guys having my back, they assured me my camera would have been stolen by now. But slightly baffled by this overwhelming hospitality, before I left, I met up with upcoming rapper Ike Mana, whose music speaks for itself when it comes to changing Oblox violence. I think it lasts six, eight. You should have. This is a, a six six two way. It's not here. <laughs> it didn't got on T Mac base. I lie. Just really, just working every day. You see what I'm saying? Like just trying to put out. Didn't get on that court. Top, like how we was before the king died. You see what I'm saying? Trying to make a miracle happen. Might sure. not be a miracle though. You saw you on the the no jumper too. Oh uh, yeah. You've been out sure. and about. Do whatever I can to put us back to where we was at. You see what I'm saying? I don't want my kids to grow up like I did. It was violent, dangerous. No, we had fun growing up. Yeah. It's just we had to grow up faster than a lot of people. Like a lot I see you got a tattoo right there. Is that someone you lost? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, that's my homie JC mama. So a lot of people die out here. Are you desensitized to losing people out here? No, I'm used to it now. Yeah. Hey, we lost so many people, we be used to that. We don't even be crying about that shit. Give a little sneak peek of an unreleased piece. Got a switch up on me. Bro, got perfect. Ain't no let them get up on me. Never had a thought that I can put trust in my homie, and that's why I'm fucking niggas, and I get it by my lonely. Okay. And nigga can sing. This nigga can sing. What the fuck? Nah, big niggas lucky to be looking to be knowing how to sing. I don't know what it is about big niggas, but like. They be having natural voice for some reason. Uh, we gotta you know switch sing, up man? on me. Oh, Grandma, how'd you know that pain? I witness that street shit. I live it. Fake love, real feelings. We looked up to the villains. Remorse don't come with killing. Ain't no killing without no killing. <laughs> Yeah, you got a lot of talent, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having us, man. Surrounded by the memories of people who had been killed all around me in every hood I visited, what if we could prevent the violence from taking place in the first place? I met back up with Lucky Chucky and OG Pop to see how the local community is stepping in to try to help end this seemingly endless cycle. I did 20 years in prison. I know what it's like to not have a father figure and to uh, depend on the streets. In any way we can, we help. This is a gym. We take on certain trouble trouble you we're talking uh, that got cases like i said nobody wants to deal with it's like the program i have now is called seeds which is self-empowerment and economic developmental system so the whole idea is to help these young individuals empower themselves mentally physically spiritually and at the same time give them a five-year plan so economically they can see where they want to be um, <laughs> javier was one of Amen. the first ones who showed me how to uh Take the first steps back into the community, I want to say, man. I appreciate that, Javier. Hey, man, appreciate you, brother. These guys dying, fighting a war that they don't <coughs> even know how it began is not cool. It's become so uncool, in fact, you got O-Block Fortnite maps clowning on the nature. <laughs> O-Block Fortnite. <laughs> bro, Tyler, you're a troll, bro, man. Uh, yeah, man. 